Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we are going to be talking about the income elasticity of demand. Now if you watched the previous videos on the uh, on the price elasticity and the cross price elasticity, you must have an idea about what do you you know what do you mean by elasticity of the demand. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So income elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand is something which is uh, denoted as YED right so usually we denote income as Y so this is something which is denoted as YED and the mathematic definition of YED that is the income elasticity of demand is the percentage change in quantity demanded it's the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price so percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price. Well, sorry, percentage change in income, not price, percentage change in income. So used to saying price. Okay, now what do you mean by that? What is the meaning of this? The meaning is that let's suppose, for example, if I say your income is $100 today and you consume $20 worth of, uh, let's say, $20 worth of rice right and tomorrow your income becomes $150 and you start consuming $25 worth of rice now what is going to be your income elasticity of demand so income elasticity of demand would be percentage change in quantity demanded so what is going to be the percentage change percentage change in quantity demanded would actually be equal to uh, the difference between the values that's 25 minus 20 divided by the original value that's 20 into 100 that is how we calculate percentage change the diff the final value minus the initial value divided by the initial value times 100 so that's going to be 5 over 20 times 100 which is actually going to be equal to 25 percent so that is the percentage change in quantity demanded and what is the percentage change in income well the percentage change in income is the difference between the values divided by the original value into 100 that means the percentage change in income is 50 and that means my YED is half which is 0 0.5 now what is the meaning of it being half and what is the meaning of it being 0 0.5 well well right now it doesn't make any sense at all so let's go ahead and understand what do we mean by the YED coefficient I mean what does the YED coefficient tell us now coefficient means the value of YED now if YED is positive so what do you mean by positive? Positive means that the percentage change in quantity demanded by percentage change in income is positive. That means that if your income increases, then the quantity demanded increases. If your income decreases, then the quantity demanded decreases. This is something which happens only for a normal good. Good that you would consume according to a uh, good that you would consume according to your income it could be so many goods rice uh, your travel and uh, you know your transportation all those come under normal goods well the good interesting thing is that if yed is less than zero that means if yed is negative that means percentage change in quantity demanded and percentage change in income are in opposite directions that means if your income increases the quantity demanded for such a product will decrease now what kind of product will be that that your income increases and and the quantity decreases for that product that product would be an inferior product you know something of poor quality right so if your income increases you are not going to consume inferior goods and similarly if income decreases you're likely to consume more inferior goods so if the the yed is greater than zero that means it's a normal good if yed less than zero that means it is an inferior good fine now there's something that you can say with respect to the magnitude of the yed coefficient as well if the 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 magnitude that means the positive value of yed is greater than one that means it's supposed to be elastic which means that uh, the percentage change in quantity demanded it's supposed to be greater than the percentage change in income that means if you change your income by 10 percent if you increase your income by 10 percent then uh, your quantity demanded changes by more than 10 percent right so that means it's in it's income elastic and if the positive value of yed is less than one that means that it's going to be inelastic that means a change in income a, a 10 percent change in income will is likely to bring less than 10 percent change in that quantity demanded 
right? So that means these are the values y e d can take. This is uh, zero. This is one, and this is minus one. Uh, in this case, uh, from greater than one, it's elastic, and less than minus one is also elastic, right? And between zero and one and minus one, it's inelastic, right? It's if it's greater than zero, it's a normal good. If it's less than zero, it's an inferior good. So hope you're able to understand my point over here, guys. What I'm trying to explain. It's a very easy concept, however, very, uh, very, very important, right? And again, a, a certain product can be can be an inferior good as well, and can be an um, a normal good as well. Let's say, for example, if I talk about bicycles, right? You know, cycles. If you use cycle as your transport, uh, as your transport. Um, you know something for transportation then it's considered as an inferior product but if you use cycles for recreational activities then it's going to be a normal product that means it also depends in what sense are you using that product that product and that will actually classify that uh, particular uh, product to be inferior or normal fine so i hope you're able to understand my point what i'm trying to say here guys so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you understood what i was trying to explain you and uh, just make sure that you give us your valuable like on this facebook page and uh, you also explore our website and give us your valuable like on this email address so thank you very much for watching this video guys i'll see you in the next one